And Humayun's tomb is the tomb of the Mughal Emperor Humayun in Delhi, India. The tomb was commissioned by Humayun's son Akbar in 1516 1917 and designed by Mirak Mirza Piyas, a Persian architect chosen by Bega Begum. The pig you were saying is the pig for the Humayun's tomb. The reason behind building this tomb was after that, after the, his death on 20th January 1536, Humayun's body was first buried in the palace in Purana, in Purana Kila at Delhi. Thereafter, it was taken to Sirhind in Punjab by Khanjur Peg because it, it was feared that Hindu King Hebu, who had defeated Mughal forces in Agra and Delhi in October 1556 and captured Purana Kila and redeemed the tomb. You all see the pick of the Hibayu's tomb. Uh, and in 1558, it was seen by his son that the, that the Mughal Emperor Akbar subsequently visited the tomb when it was about to be completed in 1571. Uh, the building was first to use its unique combination and red sandstone and white marbles and include several elements of Indian architecture, like the small canopies or we can call it series, surrounding the central dome. Popular in the Rajasthani architecture and were originally covered with the blue tiles. Now, I would like to pass over the mic to the Chakit Chawla. Yes. Uh, now, if you want to ask some questions, you can go for it. years 
and the war memorial, and it had totally opened its gates again in 2005, so it was a for visitors. And once again, it's also used for church service, concerts, or other things. Um, something meaning about this architecture of the church is that it has eight corners at the bottom instead of, as you'd expect, four for a normal church. So it's uh, formed a bit of a, like a cycle inside, um, which also makes it pretty unique. And also, um, as you can see on the picture, it has one of the largest stones of churches in Europe. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. For Thank you, Patrick. I think we continue straight away with um, the castles. Please proceed for it. Please proceed for it. Okay, girls, can you move uh, to the front, maybe? Because we don't have a microphone, we only have got the microphone of our webcam. Parliament and located in the 
last step. You can see it has um, when light and uh, when dark. Yeah. <laughs> so next one up is the world of war. It's a symbol of the German division during the Cold War. It's a closed west building coming alive from the entire city center. And it, it was supposed to prevent East Berliner citizens of East Germany from fleeing to the West. And from August 13th to 1961 to November 9th, 1989, the fall of the war marked the definitive end of its dictatorship and today's memorial. And here's a picture of the Brown War. That's all. Okay, Thanks. thank you, Dominic. We've got one more slide to present that is in our home uh, city Stuttgart. It's the CPE's house. Hello, guys. Um, I've got our hand in there. Stuttgart. Um, <laughs> it's the case in Stuttgart. On the map, you can see the uh, where Stuttgart is. It's in Bahn Württemberg. Pretty in the middle of it. Um, the exact, uh, exact address is the Jahnstraße 127597 in Stuttgart, if you ever want to visit it. Um, the so I'm going to tell you a bit about the architecture. It's the first region was concrete B tower that was ever built, so it was a prototype for many others. And it's 700, 270 meters high. Um, it's slightly curved and it and has a cylindric top which makes it look aesthetical. And its bottom diameter is 10 meters and 10 meter 8 and its top diameter is 5 meter. Um, it weighs 3,000 tons which is a lot and it costs about 4.2 it's perfect. And so I'm going to tell you about its purpose. In the beginning, they wanted to build an iron and it's not for the arrows. As you can see in the picture, it's a big mess with the arrow. But Prince Leonard, the architect, wanted to use the tower for the and build a restaurant. Um, so Signed a tower with a basket, a human platform on the top, and a restaurant, and the area is also on the top. The TV tower is one of the biggest tourist attractions in Stuttgart. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. No, it's okay. So these yeah. are our sites of Germany, a mix from old to new and from um, well known and also local sites. Thanks for listening. Uh, you like uh, don't mind if I ask you a question, please? Yes, go ahead. Uh, particularly, what's the best time to visit Germany? Excuse me again? Uh, what's the best time to visit Germany? Oh, yeah.